Today's video, we're gonna go over how to move over from Twilio to Lead Connector, all within Go High Level, especially for you guys out there that don't live in the United States or Canada. Very recently, Go High Level has brought in the entire SMS and phone system in-house as opposed to having us go through Twilio to use the phone system. It's kind of confusing still because some of the components are still based off Twilio in the back end, but we don't have to worry about that as Go High Level users. Go High Level is just so great and they have their own support portal right here. And this is actually an entire article about it. So even if for whatever reason you're still confused after this video, you can actually read this and go through it. This is the simple way to do it if you are in the States or Canada. All you gotta do is switch to agency view, go to phone system dash Twilio, and then you're gonna see something that looks like this, and all you gotta do is click on switch to lead connector phone system, and then it just changes the system, it's pretty easy to do. And you'll see right here in step three, for all US and Canada users, you'll be able to group all of the accounts or the sub accounts you have under your agency view within the Twilio, I'll show you in a second, uh, setup system and the phone system in the settings, and you'll be able to do a group transition from Twilio to lead connector all at once. And then when you guys do that, it's gonna look something like this. It's gonna say managed by lead connector phone system on the entire right side. And by the way, this actually happened to me when I was switching from Twilio to lead connector. There was about a transition period of 24 to like 48 hours, like a day or two from me switching my my user, or not my user, but my carrier, I guess you could say. Me personally, I had text messages still go out while it was doing that. I don't know if that's normal. It probably is, because they don't want to have the system entirely cut off. If you guys have an issue though, you guys can always contact high level support. And that's another great thing about high level is they get back to you like immediately. But moving on to our non-US and non-Canada users, this part's for you. And then how do we get to this screen? For my international friends out there, all you gotta do is select a sub account that you wanna move from Twilio to Lead Connector and then go to settings and then go down to phone numbers and then it'll be here. So as you can see, I already have the provider name. It's, I already have this one moved over to Lead Connector because I have everything moved to Lead Connector. But what you gotta do if you are international is you have to go to regulatory bundle. And I don't have any because I'm in the US, but what you gotta do is you have to create and then click create regulatory bundle. And then you click the country you're based out of. Obviously it's a business type and then the type of numbers you plan to use. So Go High Level has three different numbers here, as you can see, that you can choose from to, to use as your business numbers and use within the high level lead connector system. The the fee and the rate to have these different numbers are very different. Like one of them is like one dollar per month to have. The toll-free number is like two dollars per month to have. And then like text messages to send and receive is like a fraction of a penny per text. So it's not like super expensive or anything like that, but that's just how they have it set up. And maybe you're even wondering, like, why do I even have to do this stuff? Like, it's really annoying. And it really is annoying, to be honest. But it's just regulatory stuff with the U.S., I guess. They have all these different rules, and different countries have different rules. Especially uh, overseas, they have different rules for text messaging and stuff. When I wanted to go ahead and create my own stuff when I was using Twilio, I had to go into the Twilio system and actually select the U.K., like, you know, like the United Kingdom, I had to select their, like, international, like, number code, which is 44. I had to manually go in there and fix the reason why my text messages weren't being sent out to British users, because I've had people sign up for my course, and they're overseas, they live in, you know, London or somewhere in the United Kingdom, and they weren't getting my texts, but that's why I have text and emails go out, so either way, I can contact people, but if you're having people contact you from different countries and different, you know, like, country area codes, you want to go to trust center and get your business verified because this is going to create more trust it's kind of like what facebook did when you go ahead in facebook and add uh, more business information and legal information they seem to verify you more and trust you more from my perspective i kind of see that as a similar thing here what high level is doing when you add more information about your business into go high level they're going to verify your information and then go ahead and you know, allow you to actually contact people with different area codes. I'm also gonna drop an entire article exactly how to do that. So for all you guys in the United States or Canada, I do recommend doing this as well because it's gonna reduce the chances of your number being spammed and you spamming out other numbers and basically just hurting your method of outreach. And if I wanna submit for review, I'm obviously gonna fail because I'm not in my main sub account where I do business in. But this is all the information you need. If you don't have any of it or if you don't have certain pieces of it, then you need to fill it out. And if you are gonna be doing this for a client's sub account, you're also gonna to need to get all this information from them. And then once you guys go ahead and pass the review test here, you can go ahead and start this registration. And that'll be just another few steps you guys gotta do and fill out some questions. I actually have the entire article, like I said, in the description below for everything you need, to be honest. So if this tutorial wasn't good enough, you guys can always go through there. Uh, but I hope this was beneficial to you guys. It's gonna wrap this up for anyone out there that isn't using Lead Connector yet. 
I prefer to use it because it's just simpler and everything's just in one system. I don't got to go to Twilio anymore. I can just go through Go High Level themselves and it's just really convenient. If you guys want to learn more about Go High Level, go ahead and watch this video on the screen and continue your journey to learning SaaS and Go High Level. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you have a good day.